Good afternoon all, this is James CG from XSI Base, and today I have a little question about tiling, uh, specifically tiling uh, and how it appears in the viewport when you tile textures. So what we have here is a simple plane that has been rotated 90 degrees, uh, so it's vertical. I have applied a texture projection and a texture on top of this, and it's this uh, sort of a gray Z on a white background. Uh, the idea is eventually these will represent bars on a plane and the white parts will be transparent and I'll probably end up using a sprite node, but for now I've just created a material, a simple Lambert, it's plugged into the diffuse, I'm not worrying about transparency. So uh, this is where the problem comes in. This looks wonderful, but let's say I need to scale this plane, let's say four times in the uh, z-axis, so it's been stretched out. Well, next step we go to image and we're going to go to the advanced tab and we're going to scale the texture four times. And that looks great, you know, that's, that's perfect, that's what I want to see. And uh, so yeah, everything's fine. And now let's bring in a, a cylinder. We'll put bars running um, vertically on either side of this uh, plane. So I select Polygon Mesh Cylinder, and I move this over, and you may have noticed that on the plane now, the texture has resized down to uh, no repeats. It is you know, covering the entire plane. Now, when I go ahead into a render region, it looks fine, everything's normal, but for the project I'm doing, I'm going to need to see how the textures look tiled at all times. And so I'm not really sure what's happening here. If we go into the image again, uh, you can see it's repeated four times. As I scale it back, the tile, you know, appears correctly for the image, but as soon as I close the window, it resorts to this, um, you know, covering the entire plane just once. We lose the tiling. And I'm not sure why that is. The, uh, the texture projection is scaling with the object, which I think would be normal. Is something you'd want to have happen. Um, if we go into the material options and under open GA, OpenGL display, you know, we can set the wrap UV to clamp. Um, and again, you see now it's clamped to uh, just covering the entire plane. There's no tiling going on. And even when we go back to the image and we, you know, now tiling, the texture repeats do nothing. You know, they, they, they show up fine when the render region refresh that. But uh, because it's been clamped, you know, you get, you get no repeats. Um, so let's go back to material and uh, change this. We do want UNV to be able to repeat. Um, so yeah, I'm not sure what's causing this. So again, as soon as I select a different object, I lose the tiling on this plane. And it's a bit of a problem for me. I'm not sure where to go from here. Uh, it's something I'm going to need for this project, and I'm sure XSI can do. And I've looked at the form and tried to figure out exactly what's causing this. Um, some solutions were, you know, clicking. If you hit Alt Enter, is how I got this uh, PPG window. So I've, you know, cl selected U wrapping UVW. And um, again, that doesn't seem to, to fix the problem. As you can see, again, it resets to covering the entire area. So uh, if anyone out there has any ideas about how to do this, um, you know, I do have a project coming up soon, and I would dearly love to be able to see you know, where these textures fall without having to draw a render region um, every time, because I'll be dealing with a lot of truss, uh, a lot of these planes, and, um, you know, I'd like to be able to work without render regions all the time. So if you have any ideas, uh, please respond to this. I really appreciate it. Take care.